I just know who Dev was to me, and that's my son. I'm just a hurt mother. It hurts because it's like we've been robbed, my entire family. We're grieving. We miss him. We miss him a lot. I am Takia George, the mother of Devin George. You took unconditional love for me. And every day I get up and I put a fake face on. I get my hair done, I do my makeup, and I go to work and I smile. And, then, and when I get home, I pray. Just, Lord, fix it. What Takia wants is the impossible. She wants her son back. She wants another hug, another call, another laugh, smile, another everything. How do you put one foot in front of the other each day? Well, prayer. I pray a lot. I know that that's the only way I can get through today. Because I'll see Devin's truck, even though it's not his truck, but it's the same color, it's the same model. And I think of him. I hear certain music and I think of him. I, I see something funny and I want to FaceTime him. I've called that number so many times, forgetting that he's no longer here. It's a day by day struggle. What is the world missing without him? Love and laughter. Love and laughter. Because when he smiles, it's contagious. <laughs> He's silly. He likes to laugh. When you see him, all you see is braces because <laughs> he's gonna show those teeth. <laughs> he's a friend. He's a loyal person. Elderly people that knew dad from going to the neighborhood grocery store, holding doors and taking their groceries to the car. He was a gentleman. How did you find out about what happened? I got a phone call and I heard the gunshot and I looked at his location. It was January 2021. Devin's location, the 9,000 block of Ohio Street and Oakman. It was mere minutes after Devin walked out of the door of his mom's home. And it was not far away at all where Devin met his demise. Well, he just left. Like, where'd he go? He went back to his friend's house. And that's how we found him. What was that moment like for you? It was awful. It's a nightmare I play in my head every other day because that's my son laying on the ground, bloody. No movement, just there. How does that weigh on you? Very heavily, uh, especially when you don't have any answers. Devin George, young male, who went to college out of state and came back and was staying with his mom. Did a couple of years out there, was getting his education, came back to start a new life, was in his 20s, was trying to not only finish his education, but starting as a singer, a rapper, and just trying to make his way. My name is Aaron Caldwell. I'm a detective with the Detroit Police Department, currently assigned to the homicide unit. What happened? He left his house, went to the store, and on his way back, what I can tell, it appears that he was ambushed. Why? That I have no idea. I have very little information on this case other than the, the amount of shell casings that were fired at the scene. There's actually two different scenes, but the primary scene, there's well over 30 casings. He was able to drive around the corner. People followed him and continued and... No motive? No motive. What do you think? I think he was the intended target just based on the amount of shell casings. That many shell casings, it's generally personal or somebody that you know. So I think they were waiting for him as to why or who, I don't know. No one deserves to be gunned down and taken out of this world. That's not anyone's right to do. He didn't deserve it. Nobody deserves it. And it frustrates me because I know he was with people just prior to. I know his friends know things. His friends are the only ones that would be able to tell me, did he have any enemies? You know, who's mad at him? Things like that, but nobody wants to talk. What do you say to his mom? 
very sorry that this happened. I'm very sorry for her loss. I'm still continuing to work on this case. It's been over a year. It's gonna stay open and I'm gonna to continue to keep working on it. And I'm gonna follow up with whatever information I get. To the people who know, to the person or persons who pulled the trigger, you say what? To the people that know, you need to come forward, share your information, share what you know. You can remain anonymous. I just need the information. To the people that did it, one day you will be caught. I truly believe that everything comes full circle. We as the community have to do something about this because there's so many hurting families. You're taking the person that you want, but you're hurting so many people in the process. Like, it's not fair. I know that he sees me down here doing everything from billboards to posters, from stopping kids in neighborhood. Hey, let me give y'all $20 to put these door knockers on. What is justice? What is that for you? <sighs> for me, I don't need to know the story of what happens to my son. I just need the person responsible to be held accountable. That's it. We let the courts do that. We don't want no street justice. I don't want no fighting. The people who took him from you and all of us, tell me what you want them to know. I pray for you every night because you hurt and affected a lot of people. We miss him. We love him. Even though he's gone, we're going to always keep his name alive. Who do you want him to know from you? I know you talk to him all the time. I know the connection never leaves you. What do you want your baby to know? The bond between me and Dad is so strong that he knows I love him. I know he loves me. He's proud of you. He's proud of you. So proud of you. I don't know if I can control the tears. No. <sighs> tears mean you love. Tears mean you love. Okay. Thank you. Devin's family, their detective, they are sick about what happened. And you should be too. Devin was murdered most likely by someone he knew which means somebody out there knows exactly who that person is. So please leave a tip at Detroit Rewards TV if you have any information at all about Devin's murder. Because if you leave a tip and that moves this case forward, you could earn a cash reward. I'm Andrea Isom. Please keep calling 1-800-SPEAK-UP. It is anonymous. They will not know who you are. Clear your conscience, ease a family's pain, and help DPD clean up these streets.